an interview with Neil Adams, the author of Batman Odyssey. In Batman Odyssey, is your Batman and Robin connected to the current DC continuity? To me, it's Batman and Robin, and Robin is Dick Grayson, and Dick Grayson is that kid that whose parents were trapeze artists, and he was a gymnast and a trapeze artist, and he was that guy that Jerry Robinson created. Batman Odyssey <coughs> number one, there seem to be multiple plots, and they seem to overlap. It's not, um, uh, you know, that little snippet that you get when you get a short story where you learn about this person or you learn about that person. It's all of these people in a novel, and you're going to hear all of their stories. In my mind, for the first time, I got to tell a novel. I got to give a whole novel. I went into the characterizations of various people. I told their story. I told the intervening stories of various characters. But in particular, I told Bruce Wayne's story, a story that's never been told. Bruce Wayne, when his career started in the comic books, he had guns. I think for 10 or 20 issues, he had, he had guns. And everybody likes to underplay that. But it's a very, very logical thing for Bruce Wayne to have done is to Assuming he's a hero and he doesn't have superpowers like Superman and bullets bounce off of him, he would take guns. He's an Avenger. He's a Revenger. Logically, he would have a gun. And Batman did. But in the psychology of Batman, we discovered that, of course, his parents were killed by a gun. And so we show in the story why he no longer carries a gun. So we find right away in the story, in the flashback, that he can't shoot people. He can shoot guns, he can hurt people's hands. He can do things that make sense as a hero, but he can't shoot a gun. And we find that in a perhaps terrible way, uh, or very logical way. So Batman is made in this novel, right at the beginning, as an incident, by the way, or is it by the way? Or is it leading to the very story that we're telling in these 13 issues? Batman is moved into a modern world. There's lots of firepower. Imagine being Batman and knowing you can't kill anybody, but you're going to go out and catch killers. You're going to put them in jail, and they're going to escape and maybe kill. As he, Bruce Wayne, who feeds millions of people in Africa, who takes care of the poor, who has all these philanthropical things that he does, can he not take the next step as Batman and murder the murderers? That's what this story is about.